Hello and welcome to this Warwick Medical School's clinical skills video with regard to the digital rectal examination. Now this is an incredibly sensitive examination and it's vitally important that the patient has um, a full understanding of what is going to be done during this consultation. So making sure we're touching on each point of the consent is incredibly important. So in order to consent for a digital rectal examination, I would discuss with the patient to say that we're going to get you to lie on the bed. I'm going to ask you to bring down both your trousers and your underwear, and I'm going to get you to roll over onto your side to turn away from me. At this point, we'll then get a, um, a pen torch to have a look around the area uh, of uh, by your anus, and then I will um, get my gloved finger apply some uh, lubricant and put my finger into uh, your um, anus, feeling around the rectum, and then in the case of a male patient, pushing over the area of the prostate to uh, examine that. I would then withdraw the finger and I would check for any evidence of blood on the glove. If the patient is happy with that, then we'd start the uh, examination in which case I would actually step out of the room, I would go and get the chaperone, um, which is an absolute requirement for this examination to proceed forward. If a patient didn't want to have a chaperone present, then as a practitioner myself, I wouldn't go forwards with the assessment. So with that in mind, how do we actually do what we've just discussed there? So we're going to want to uh, get our apron. Um, it's a very good idea to make sure that um, you haven't put your gloves on before you um, try to put on the apron. It will make life an awful lot more difficult. So, apron goes on and over, and then tie behind at the back. Then we're going to uh, get the gloves on and we then ask the patient to lie on the bed um, on their back initially and shuffle to the edge of the bed, at which point I'd ask them to roll over to face away from me and again bring them towards the back of the bed as uh, needed. At this point I would uh, get the pen torch and I would highlight to the patient that I'm just going to move apart the buttocks. So at the start of the examination, we want to get the pen torch. I want to have a look around the uh, anus. So we're looking for any evidence of fissures, any hemorrhoids, uh, any possible anal cancers, and any changes to the skin. It's also worthwhile to examine slightly higher up because we can get evidence of pilonidal sinus infections here. With that finished, we apply a, um, a, a lubricant to uh, the finger. So again, pressing my hand over the uh, upper thigh to stop the patient from rolling over. I'm approaching with the alcohol gel on my finger, using the pulp, and then I'm pushing in and down. And I'm going up to the distal interphalangeal joint, and I'm feeling around at the back, and then coming around to check the prostate, so checking the uh, the right lobe, the left lobe, the central sulcus, the overall size of the prostate, whether or not there's irregularities and what's the density, whether or not it feels hard, firm, or if there's any pain. To reiterate with regard to examination of the prostate, we want to feel the central sulcus, we want to feel the right lobe and the left lobe, and actually pressing down on the prostate to see how firm it feels. Once that's finished, we're going to withdraw the finger, and again, I want to assess to make sure there's no blood on the glove. That would then complete our examination. We'd, last, uh, we'd provide the patient with some uh, towel in order to wipe themselves up, and which would then be binned, and would have them get dressed. Once they are dressed, I would go through the examination findings with them, not whilst they're in a state of undress. Thank you for watching this video. It is very important to highlight that different institutions might have slight variations in their protocols. And for your um, clinical skills exams, please follow the instructions set out by your institution.